<laughs> Alright, we'll do a 365 day devotional. This, if, if I haven't done it, I don't think I did it for today. Uh, this will be April 1st. April 1st, the king is risen. The angel answered and said to the woman, I know that you see Jesus who was crucified. Whoa. <laughs> I know you seek Jesus who was crucified. He is not here, for he is risen. And he said, as he said, Matthew 28, 5, 6. He has risen. Three words in English, just one in Greek. Egerthe, so much rests on the validity of this one word. If it is false, then the whole Christianity collapses like a poorly told joke. Yet, if it is true then God's story has turned your final chapter into a preface. If the angel was correct, then you can believe this. Jesus descended into the coldest cell of death's prison and allowed the warden to lock the door and smelt the keys in a furnace. And just when the demons began to dance and prance, Jesus pressed pierced hands against the inner walls of the cavern. From deep within, he shook the cemetery. The ground rumbled and the tombstone tumbled. And out he marched, the cadaver turned king with the mask of death in one hand and the keys of heaven in the other. He has risen, not risen from sleep, not risen from confusion, not spirituality raised from the dead, physically raised. The bodily resurrection means everything. If Jesus lives only... <laughs> If Jesus lives only in spirit and deeds, he is but one of thousand dead heroes. But if he lives on in flesh and bone, he is the king who pressed his heel against the head of death. What he did with his own grave, he promises to do with yours. Empty it. All right. That is 365 Day Devotional for Max Lucado's book. Uh, God is with you every day. The angel answered and said to the women, I know that you seek Jesus who is crucified. He is not here, for he is risen, as he said. All right. Cool. All right. Cool. Love y'all. 365 Day Devotional. Mr. Ralph. See you later.